Hi. Hello, Teacher Sen. Hello, hello, hello. How are you? Yes, I'm fine. Thank you. <laughs> okay, what did you do today? Oh, what did oh you my do? Oh, my, oh, my grandma, my grandma, it's a visit, visit we all with uh, my mm -hmm. uncle. Oh. With my uncle, with my uncle and uh, and uh, the, my younger sister. Okay, so where are they right now? Where yes. are Where are they? Mm, uh, they, uh, they are. Mm, uh, they is, are still still here. They are still okay. here. They're still there. And who's beside you? I think someone. Yeah. No, no one beside me. No There's someone beside behind you. <laughs> someone, is someone is behind you. I saw someone joke. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay. So Let's continue the listening test. Okay, so let me a second. Okay. I have to... Get ready with your notebook, Anne. And I didn't see this book. This is my younger sister book. It's oh. you know race race kid. We know race kid. Race kid. No, I don't know. It's the education, education about online. We can use this to be uh, learn English, and uh, oh. it's have a lot, it's have a lot of story. Okay, so did you read the stories? Mm, uh, I'm, uh, we just <laughs> buy today. We just buy today. Oh, I'm but sorry. I, um, oh, you just buy it today, so. Let me check it. I have to. I have to let my. Okay. <laughs> okay, what was that? Oh, it's my younger sister. It's my aunt. Younger okay. sister. Okay, so are you ready? No, uh, let me a second. Okay. Why are you freezing? Oh, no, you're moving. Okay. What is it? Yes. Uh... Oh, this is this oh, is my mother. Where is it? I'm I'm so tired because my my younger sister out. It's uh, want to kill me every day because, <laughs> because I'm very tired. Every time. Hmm. So. So, so today, what are you doing today? Let's doing? continue the listening test. Last meeting yes, because we, we we are not we didn't finish it, right? This is where we ended yes. it last last oh last th Thursday, right? Yes. Okay, so we already answered this activity. Now yes. let's Go to the part two listening. No, we do part two. We do part two. 
Oh, we already did this one. Did yes. An, oh, okay. I remember. Mm -hmm. Now let's proceed. What about this? No? It's about okay. time. Do you know how to look at the time? Yes, I know how to talk at time. Okay, good job. Now you listen carefully and write your answer on your notebook first. Okay? Yes. Okay, now let's start. Part three. Listen and look. There is one example. The people who live in the flats all get up at different times. At what time does each person get up? Oh, I had to get up so early this morning. Me too. But the person who lives in the flat next to ours gets up very late. He's a businessman, but he often works at home. He's got an office there. He gets up at a quarter past nine. Wow, that is late. Can you see the letter D? Now you listen and write a letter in each box. The policewoman who lives in the downstairs flat goes running before she goes to work. She gets up at five to seven every morning. I hear her in her kitchen sometimes. Making coffee? I don't know. There's another person who gets up earlier than me. She's a nurse, so she has to be at the hospital at a quarter to eight. She gets out of bed at ten past seven. She told me. Is she nice? Yes, I like her a lot. Who else do you know in the flats? There's a mechanic who lives on the first floor. He gets up at about twenty past eight, then has a shower every day. I hear him in the bathroom. He catches the bus at ten to nine, like me. Do you know, one of the people there is an astronaut. No! Well, he says he is. We don't know. He gets up the earliest. I hear his clock sometimes at half past six. I couldn't get up that early. On most days, I'm still dreaming then. Me too. Doesn't someone from the university live there too? You mean Lucy. She's a student there. What time does she get up? At about eight o'clock or five past, something like that. I'm not sure. She lives at the top of the house. All we hear is her music. Oh. Now listen to part three again. The policewoman who lives in the downstairs flat goes running before she goes to work. She gets up at five to seven every morning. I hear her in her kitchen sometimes. Making coffee? I don't know. There's another person who gets up earlier than me. She's a nurse, so she has to be at the hospital at a quarter to eight. She gets out of bed at ten past seven. She told me. Is she nice? Yes, I like her a lot. Who else do you know in the flats? There's a mechanic who lives on the first floor. He gets up at about twenty past eight, then has a shower every day. I hear him in the bathroom. He catches the bus at ten to nine, like me. Do you know, one of the people there is an astronaut. No. Well, he says he is. We don't know. He gets up the earliest. I hear his clock sometimes at half past six. I couldn't get up that early. On most days, I'm still dreaming then. Me too. Doesn't someone from the university okay. live there too? Stop now. You mean Lucy. She's a student there. Okay. Now... What time does the mechanic get up? Mechanic. Mm. Mechanic. Uh, he's get up at. Uh, he's get up at. Uh, 
<laughs> okay, let's see. What hear. time? Listen. He gets up, lives in the flat next to ours, gets up very late. He's a businessman, but he often works at home. Okay, He's got an office there. He gets up at a quarter past nine. Okay, wow. The businessman get that up is at late. Nine in each box. Let's listen. The policewoman who lives in the downstairs Police flat woman, goes running before she up? goes to work. She gets up at five. Policewoman, what time did she get up? She gets up at uh, she gets up at uh, seven forty-five. Seven forty-five. Okay, let's hear it. Five to seven every morning. Uh, seven ten. I hear her in her kitchen sometimes. Making coffee? I don't know. There's another person who gets up earlier than me. Okay, She's a nurse, so she check, has to be... Check your answers if you are correct. Mechanic. <laughs> Letter H, 8.20. Yes, sir. Uh, university is uh, F. This university is uh, 8.5. Okay, eight. the nurse. Nurse is, nurse is 7.10. Okay, the astronaut. The astronaut is, uh, is quarter, quarter fast, quarter fast. Uh, Okay, half past, half past half six. Past. Okay. Half past. Oh, half six. past. All right. The policewoman mm -hmm. is. Yes, the policewoman is the six fifty five. Okay, so how many correct answers do you get? Count your correct mm -hmm. answers and put your score. I just make a four. To five. Okay, four over five. Now, write a score in your notebook. It's four yes. over five. Okay, good job. Now, let's proceed to the next question. Part four, question one to five. We're going to listen. And select whether A, B, or C is the correct answer. Okay? Now, you need to listen first the conversation okay. so that you can answer the activity. Part 4. Look at the listen example. Listen and look. There is one example. How many homes has Richard's Aunt Betty got? I've got three aunts. But Aunt Betty is my favourite. Oh, is she, Richard? Why? Well, she's nice, and I like going to stay with her. Her homes are very interesting. <laughs> homes? How many has she got? One for the winter, and a second one for the summer. Can you see the tick? Now you listen and tick the box. One, where does Aunt Betty live in the summer? Does she live near your farm? In the winter, yes, but in the summer she travels a lot. Where does she go? She goes up the river in her summer home. It's a boat. Oh, she lives on a boat. Yes, she likes visiting old castles and places near the river. Two. Where is Aunt Betty's winter home? Does she live on the river in the winter? No, she's got a little house in our village for the winter. It's opposite the hotel. Oh, yes. Is it that little pink house? Yes, that's right. That's her house. Okay. What's the answer for number one? No one is A because I see Aunt Betty leave. Aunt Betty want to. I think is it. I think she's been travel in the boat. Okay. But, uh, yes. Okay. And in the 
Okay, and number three. Number two, where is Aunt Beth? Beth is went her home. It's she. <laughs> <laughs> it's letter B. Okay, let's hear it once again. But I see the hotel. Where I see the letter the hotel. hotel. Summer home. Winter. Yeah. Let's listen to Does it. she live near your farm? In the winter, yes. Where does Aunt Betty live in the summer? And places near the river. Two. Where is Aunt Betty's winter home? Winter home. Does she live on the river in the winter? No, she's got a little house in our village for the winter. Mm. It's opposite the hotel. Oh, yeah. She go to a small house in the village opposite to the hotel. So that's why she correct as oh, I missed it. B. Okay, it's okay. Oh, you I got one mistake. It. You got one mistake. Now let's continue to three, four, and five. Okay, you listen. Okay. Three. Where does Aunt Betty work in the winter? Does your Aunt Betty work? Yes, she works hard in the winter when everyone comes here to ski. Does she work in the hotel? Not now. What? No, I don't see the town post slack. Oh, wait. I just see you. Oi, wait, wait, wait. Why is that? I think the Zoom is having a problem. Okay, what about now? Can you see it now? Yes. Okay, let's... I can see it. Okay, let's try to listen to it once Three. Again. Where does Aunt Betty work in the winter? Does your Aunt Betty work? Yes, she works hard in the winter when everyone comes here to ski. Does she work in the hotel? Not now. She worked in the restaurant there about five years ago. But now she works at the theatre in the shop there. She sells books and postcards. Four. How often does Richard see Aunt Betty in the summer? Do you often see your Aunt Betty? In the winter, we see her once a week. She comes up to our farm on Wednesdays for her milk. And in the summer? Only about once a month. Sometimes we stay with her for a weekend on the boat. Five. What do Richard and his sister do when they visit Aunt Betty? My sister and I love staying with Aunt Betty. It's very different from home. How is it different? Well, she hasn't got a TV, so we can't watch anything. What do you do then? Most of the time she just talks to us, about her travels usually. Sometimes she goes outside and paints a picture. Then she comes in and starts telling us stories again. <laughs> are they good stories? Yes, and sometimes the stories are very long, so we don't go to sleep until after midnight. Okay, let's listen to it once again. Three. Where does Aunt Betty work in the winter? Does your Aunt Betty work? Yes, she works hard in the winter when everyone comes here to ski. Does she work in the hotel? Not now. She worked in the restaurant there about five years ago. But now she works at the theatre in the shop there. She sells books and postcards. Four. How often does Richard see Aunt Betty in the summer? Do you often see your Aunt Betty? In the winter, we see her once a week. She comes up to our farm on Wednesdays for her milk. And in the summer? Only about once a month. Sometimes we stay with her for a weekend on the boat. Five. What do Richard and his sister do when they visit Aunt Betty? My sister and I love staying with Aunt Betty. It's very different from home. How is it different? Well, she hasn't got a TV, so we can't watch anything. 
What do you do then? Most of the time she just talks to us, about her travels usually. Sometimes she goes outside and paints a picture. Then she comes in and starts telling us stories again. <laughs> are they good stories? Yes, and sometimes the stories are very long, so we don't go to sleep until after midnight. Okay, are you ready to answer? Yes, I'm ready! <laughs> okay, I like that you're confident. Now, what's your answer in number three? It's uh, A, A or C. That's C. Number four? Oh, C. Number four, I think, is uh, uh, C. Oh, C. Number five? C. What do Richard and his sister do when they visit Aunt Betty? It's a sir. Uh, yes. Good Why job. is always C? Why is always C? <laughs> I don't know. Because I... C didn't happen. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay, now good job. Your score is four over five, right? Because you got you get a mistake on the number two. Yes. Yeah, your score for part four is four over five okay now let's proceed to the next slide we are now for part five listen and color okay we're going to color the clouds we're going to color yes. the how do you kill this hot air balloon is this a hot air balloon now first yes. we're going to listen it first part five Listen and look at the picture. There is one example. In the sky, there are some clouds. Can you see them? Yes. Find the biggest cloud and color it black. OK. Can you see the black cloud? This is an example. Now you listen and color and draw. One. Now you're going to draw another cloud. Where shall I draw it? Between the plane and the helicopter. Okay. Okay, can you draw a cloud? Yeah. Yes. The cloud, the cloud will be between the plane and the helicopter. Okay, number one. Let's do the number one first. Draw a cloud between the plane and the helicopter. Okay. Okay, change. This change is the, the, I want to go. This is the plane. And this is the And helicopter. this is the helicopter. And you're going to do the clouds between the helicopter and the plane. Now you try. Try yes. to draw a uh, try to draw a clouds. Okay, use the use the mouse. Okay, I will use my mouse. Okay, try to do. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Drew, okay, make it big. Okay, so that's your cloud. <laughs> that's your clouds now. Now, wait, wait, okay. Let me hold the mouse. Let me hold the mouse. Okay, for number two, color two of the birds. Orange, three of the words is gray. Wait, I'm going to change the color first. Let's, you need to color. Oh, wait, I'll go away. I'll color the first bird here, orange. Yes, yes. Oh, it's so... Orange. Okay. Now you're going to color the tree. Wait, 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 wait. My turn, my turn. Okay. My turn first, my turn. Okay, now you're going to color. Oh no, we don't have gray. We can choose black or dark, dark, or dark gray. There's no black. And it, uh, in this... Uh, Oh, no. Let's just use black, okay? 
Oh, color the three okay. birds black because there's no color gray. Okay. 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 <laughs> what happened to the birds? <laughs> bird is changed. <laughs> and it's not like the bird anymore. Okay. Now, number three. Draw a green window on the plane. Wait, let's change the color first. Wait, wait, wait. I will change the color first. Let me hold the mouse. Okay. okay. Let's draw green. Let's make this green. Draw a green window on the plane. Okay, you draw a window. <laughs> okay, number four. Okay. Okay, let's change the color into blue. Wait. Blue. Okay. Color the clothes of the woman next to the plane blue. Okay, you color this blue. Yes. Okay, now let's, oops, wait, 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 let me hold the mouse. What are you doing? What are you doing? No, 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 let me hold the mouse, let me hold, let me control the mouse, okay? Mm. Wait, do not hold the mouse first. Where's the mouse? Wait. No, do not touch the mouse, okay? Now, I'm going to change it into color red, okay? Color the word flyers, red. Okay. Okay. Follow arrow. What the? What is that for you? Hmm? Well, it's you. No, it's not I do. Mm, I didn't touch the mouse. It's you controlling the mouse. Oh, what is coming? Yes, I'm trying. Okay, good job. Now, I'm going to give you a score. Five to five. Okay, <laughs> five over five. Good job with that. Get it. Now that's the end of the listening test. Okay, that's the end of the listening test. Now let's now let's proceed to what is this? Reading and writing. Okay? Yes. Okay. Now, before we start, <clears throat> do you have some question? No, I do not. 
any question. Okay, you didn't have any question. Now, reading and writing. Reading and writing. Now, ten -ding. Ten -ding. Okay, part one, look and write. Are you going okay. to choose? The correct words. Okay, for example, you sent this to a friend at Christmas. What is that? It's called oh, a, a card. card. Now, number one. You use this to cut paper. What is it? His, his son. It's, his son. It's you're in read as seesaws. Uh, seesaws? Yeah. Oh, seesaws. Yeah, that's a seesaws. Right. Okay. Now, what about number two? When you study this subject, you learn about islands and jungle. What is that? Geography. Okay. Geography. Geography. Okay. Now, if you can't spell a word, you can use this to help you. What is that? A dictionary. A dictionary. Okay. Good job. It's a dictionary. Now, if you like drawing and painting, you should study this subject. What is that? Art. Art. It's art. art. Number five. We need one of this to eat soup. A fork. Soup. A fork. Fork. It's right. Yes, yes. No, it's a spoon. <laughs> soup. <laughs> soup is liquid, right? The soup is liquid. Yeah. yeah, that's why we need a spoon. Okay, now for this, for this activity, you got four over five. Good job with that. Now let's proceed to the next slide. Okay. Number six. When you are on holiday, you send this to your friends. Uh, uh, and if we, uh, 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 okay, I will see. Oh. And, uh, an developer, <laughs> an envelope. That's read as envelope, okay? It's envelope. envelope. Okay, for the I don't know six. I just... Oh, wait, wait, where's oh. the num answer on number six? Okay. Oh, I guess that's the example, right? Okay, for the number seven, you use Maybe. this to cut bread, cheese, and meat. The answer is? Uh, a, a knife. Yeah, that's a knife. Now for number eight, you can study here after you leave school. A uh, university. After you leave school. Yeah, the yeah. university. Now, number nine, we put a letter on or a card in this before we post it. You said it. A postcard. Right. A postcard. We put a letter or a card in this before we post it. It's a... Oh, wait. The answer ah! number six is a post postcard. The so number one is ah! an envelope. Okay. Ah! Because before you send uh, news those letters, a news a newspaper, a newspaper, okay. a newspaper. <laughs> a newspaper. <laughs> All right. Good job. Now for in this activity, I will still give you. Four over five. Okay? Okay. Now let's continue. You're just going to write yes 
or no? Now, questions. Can you read the question number one? Yes. I know this. I know this. Because the first day I learned Patano, I don't learn with you. I learned with the Vietnamese teacher. And we, we was doing this. We was doing this. Okay. And I, and I do write every, every <laughs> question. Okay, now let's try if you still remember the answers, okay? Yes. Okay, for number one. Can you read the number one? The gun is pu pulling the boy, boy's hand. Is it yes or no? No. It's no. All right. It's no. But uh, number two. Can you read some, the number two? Read the question first. Some, some sweets have fallen on the floor and is no. No. All right. Can you read the number three? Uh, the mice have eaten all the chocolate. Okay. Yes or no? <laughs> I don't remember. Look at the picture. Yes. Look at the picture. Find, find the mice. If if the mice. Yes, is I see the, the mice. Yes, I see the mice. The mice have eaten all the. I think it's no. Are I you think sure? Yes no. Uh, I'm not sure. Wait, let's look at the where's the mouse. Here is the mouse. Yes, I see the mouse. And the mouse is holding the chocolate. Do you think the mouse eats in the chocolate? Yes or no? No. No, no, please no. Jesus. Alright. Alright. Because the mouse is just holding the chocolate. Now for number yes. four. The person yes. who is posting a letter is wearing a hat. Yes. All right. It's a yes. Now, can you read the number five? The boy and the girl are whisper, whispering together. Is it yes or no? No. All right. It's no. Yes. yes. <laughs> okay. For the number six. The cat is watching the mice very carefully. No. This is the cat. Is he the cat watching the mice? Yes. No. Yes. <laughs> no. 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 I. Uh, no. You are. I. I think uh, you are Christian. Good me. This is yeah, the yeah, cat. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because the cat but is sleeping. Okay. The cat is not watching. Nice. Yes, I know. Now number seven. Can you read the number seven? The monster is too short. The monster is too short to take a book from the top shelf. And this is yes. Yes. Okay. Wow. Oh. Perfect. You get the perfect score of seven over. Seven. Good job. Now let's proceed to the next activity. Part three. Five questions. Hmm. We will read the conversation and choose the best answer from yes. letter A to letter H. Example. Hello, Helen. Oh, I'm so hungry. The letter H is? At about maybe usually. Oh, wait. You, I'll give are you. you I'm not. I, I had a big breakfast first. <laughs> okay. Let's try to answer this. Okay. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. Question number one. I didn't want, I didn't 
What's your favorite food, Helen? Uh, it's uh, it's uh, uh, it's cheese. It's cheese, cheese on pizza and cheese on bread. All right. Number one is letter B. Good job with that. Number two, mine's is pasta. Who cooks your lunch? Uh, no. Who cooks um, your lunch? Uh, it's uh, E, my sister. She likes doing that. Okay, good job. Now, number three. Do you like cooking sometimes? No. Uh, yes, but I only like making easy things. Okay, it's letter G. Good job. Number four. Yes, that's fun. When did you start cooking? Uh, I was um, uh, I was about seven. It's difficult to remember. Okay, it's letter C. Good job. Now, what time do you have your lunch? Um, at, at about midday usually. Where is it? It's letter. Uh, what time? Okay, I will. Uh, it's H. Later, H. Later, H. H. Okay, at about midday usually. Now, let's read the conversation. I will be Tom and you will be Helen. And you will be reading the correct answer, okay? Okay. <clears throat> okay. Number one. I didn't want, I didn't. What's your favorite food, Helen? It's cheese. Cheese on pizza and cheese on bread. Mine's is pasta. Who cooks your lunch? My sister. She likes doing that. Do you like cooking sometimes? Yes, but I only like making easy things. Easy. Yes, that's fine. When did you start cooking? It was about seven. It's uh, difficult to remember. What time do you have your lunch? Mm, at about midday, usually. Me too. See you later. Wow, good job, Tommy. You got it all correctly. Now I'm going to give you a perfect score of 5 over 5. Good job! Thank you very much. <laughs> okay, it's almost time, but let's just finish this. Part 4. Read the story and choose a word from the box. Write the correct word next to numbers 1 to 5. This is, where's the example? There is one example. Okay, let's look at it. Oh. This will be your choices. So that you can answer the blanks here, okay? Okay, on his last year, holiday, great friend and beauty person. Island. It's island. <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> okay. Right. Okay. And his last holiday. His last holiday, Fred went to the beautiful Iceland. 
Wait, 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 wait. Play a lot it, of tennis. It's island. Play ice island. It's island, not Iceland. It's island. island. Okay, now you repeat. Island. Okay. Island. Yeah. Island. Yes. Family swam and played a lot of tennis day. And at the end of the holiday, Fred didn't want to go home, but they had to. They went to the airport to catch the, the, the plane. Okay, the good plane job. Was late and they had to wait, wait there for 12 hours. Hours, it hours. Hours. It was very boring for Fred in the room. There was noisy and full of people. People. But at last, they could leave. It's people. Pe people. Okay. People. But, but at last. That they could leave when the plane was near. And fun people. Pe people. People. <laughs> it's people. But at last they could leave <laughs> when the plane was near London. The pilot say, "Sorry, everyone. The weather is too uh, is too fo foggy. Yeah, it's foggy. Too foggy for the plane to stop here. Uh, well, fly. We 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 will fly to another city, and you can catch a train to London. London. But Fred and his family." Arrived too late to catch last the last gen, so they uh, so they uh, stayed stayed it stayed it in stayed. a hotel hotel stayed stayed stayed, stayed. yeah that's stayed. stayed stayed in a hotel they didn't get home until the next afternoon so Fred had a one more day of holiday from school. He was very happy. All right. Wow, good job. You got it all correctly. Now I'm going to give you a perfect score of five over five. Good job, Tommy. Now, hmm, I think it's time already. We just continue this tomorrow, okay? Okay, our class tomorrow, what time? Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. It's eight, seven. I think. Is it seven? Okay, okay, it's, eight. Okay, it's eight o'clock. Yeah, it's eight o'clock, right? If you want, we can, if you want to study in the morning, we can also change the time. If you want as early. Oh uh, no, because uh, because in uh, because in Sunday I have a demolition show. Oh, okay. I oh. Did, I like the demolition, like the demolition uh, show <laughs> very much. Okay, uh, but, so. Uh, okay, do you want to learn in the morning because this uh, because this uh, show you. Yeah, the show will be start in one one p.m. Okay, okay. We can also have. And we can. Uh, I think uh, we can learn uh, in. Continue. No, no, no. I think we. I think I just uh, go to the. I think we can learn in the afternoon. What time in the afternoon? Uh, four. Four or five p.m. Wait, I'm going to check my schedule. Okay, 5 p.m. is good. So, say you tomorrow, okay, 5 p.m. Okay. 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 So, okay. Goodbye and good night. Goodbye. Okay. See you. Bye. -bye. Goodbye. See you later. <laughs> see you tomorrow, Goodbye. 5 p.m. Bye-bye. <laughs> wow. You are very beautiful. <laughs> okay, see you tomorrow. Bye bye. Goodbye. See you later. Bye bye. Thank you. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, it's funny. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Bye.